One of the beautiful things about a school and a PTO, a parent-teacher organization partnership, is the ability to collaborate, to get things done, to make your school community a better place. So in today's video, we're going to talk all about seven different ways that schools and PTOs can collaborate, work together to just make things happen and really improve your school community as a whole. So the very first thing that you guys can do to kind of get on the same page is the school's principal and the PTO president should really come together at least once a year to talk about goals, what your goals are for the year, no matter what time of the year it is. So if you are meeting before school even starts, maybe you're looking at the upcoming school year. If you are meeting mid-year, you're going to be looking at what you want to happen for the rest of the year or and even maybe talk about what's going to be on the docket for the upcoming year. There are some plans in schools that take more than one year to make happen. For example, if you are planning a playground, like a playground addition or a playground replacement, that's something that takes multiple years because Playgrounds are very expensive, and so you need to do some fundraising. You either need to find the money in the school's budget. Maybe the PTO has been raising money for a special project and have some money set aside. Whatever the case may be, this is not going to be a multiple month sort of project. It is going to be a many month project. So that's just one example. There are many others. But basically, you want to get on the same page, the principal and the PTO president, you want to be talking about the same things so that you know how to support each other. If you don't even know that the school's goal is to raise math proficiency rates, well, then how is the PTO going to do anything to help support that? You can't. So by getting on the same page early and by communicating often, that's a way that you guys can collaborate and work together. The next thing that really makes collaboration possible is figuring out how best you two like to communicate. As the school's principal and the PTO's president, you two are the two main leaders that are going to be kind of coming together and then delegating everything to everyone else. And you're going to be passing the information to everybody else. So the two of you really need to be communicating in a way that the other likes to do. What I've always done, well, not always, but with the principals that I've had the best relationships with when I was a PTO president, we always exchanged cell phone numbers because there was always a time that something would come up and that we would either need to talk off record to protect either one of us. Uh, the, that's just the kind of the relationships that I developed with my school's principals or my children's principals. We just needed to get a hold of each other when we were not in our office or not at home, right? Figuring out how best to communicate with each other is really going to make everything else possible. That is a way that you can actually, I would count that as collaboration, is getting on the same page and learning how to communicate because collaboration is not possible without communication. And communication, there is some level of collaboration there too. All right, so now like, let's talk about some of the specific things that you could do. A literacy program. My lower elementary school help had, well, the PTO there had a reading program where we would encourage kids to read a certain number of minutes every night. And if they did, then they, at the end of the month, they would fill up a calendar tracking their reading, and then they would get a special prize. And then if they met certain criteria throughout the entire semester, then there would be a like semester end fun program to celebrate their participation and their achievements in reading. And so really that would help support, of course, literacy throughout their time in that building. And so that was helpful. Like what teacher doesn't want their student reading more, right? You could do the same with a math night. Just anything that's going to support the educational goals of the school is going to be super helpful and the PTOs have a can really put a like fun spin on it. You could have like a science night to expose more kids to the different aspects of STEM and really help bring the concepts of STEM to life so they can see it in practical applications. Another way to collaborate is to reach perhaps marginalized groups. Maybe you have a group of immigrant families who, you know, English isn't their first language, and so maybe they don't feel quite part of everything. Well, maybe your PTO could host a multicultural night to help everyone celebrate their differences, highlight the individualities, and then all come together as families, knowing that you're coming together in community. Like that could be a really powerful way to form new friendships and gain 
greater understanding of each other and help the group of parents and maybe families that don't feel quite part of the community, maybe that could be a bridge event to help get the ball rolling. Another way that the PTO and the school can collaborate, of course, is on staff appreciation because staff and teachers never quite get enough recognition, appreciation, or the love that they deserve. So like the more, the merrier. If you guys can plan something together, great. If you want to do different events or programs, that is also fabulous. I think it's a good to like kind of spread things out so it's not all at the same time. And certainly you don't want to compete where if the principal is planning to bring in lunch for the staff one day, you don't want to have the PTO's lunch and be the same day or even probably the day before or day after, like totally good to spread that funness out. So just kind of keep that in mind. You also can collaborate in like literally anything else your school needs. Like what does your school need? Where where can you be inventive? I recently had the head of the AV department reach out. He wanted to kind of increase school spirit by using the internal display screen. So we have like basically TV monitors spread throughout the whole school that he has um, primary control over putting up like what goes on it. And he wanted to do a scavenger hunt and have prizes for the students who participated and like run other contests to kind of make it fun for the students. And he reached out to see if the PTO could provide money for prizes or the prizes itself themselves. And I said, oh my God, that's like awesome. And we will probably have leftovers from concessions that we can totally give you. So this could be like a no cost kind of support for us because we already have the products and we're not going to have a chance to sell them before they um, go out of date. So it's like, again, a win-win. So it's just kind of one example. Another way that our school is looking at collaborating with uh, the PTO this year or the, yeah, the, the school made the request. Our kids actually don't have, they have um, no cell phones in the high school building this year. And the principal was looking at maybe getting PlayStations. The principal was looking at getting PlayStations to get kids who were meeting expectations, like give them something to do during lunch since they don't have access to their cell phones. We have like cell phone pouches that the, or the kids have cell phone pouches that they have to put their their phones into each day. And so they remain locked throughout the entire day. And so she was looking to the PTO to see if there was any way that we could buy the PlayStations. Like, well, sure. <laughs> like, that sounds like a great idea. That there are just different ways that the PTO can be supportive and that the school and the PTO can kind of collaborate to meet each other's needs. These are just a few examples. When you're looking at possibilities for collaboration between your school and the parent groups, you really just have to think in terms of like, what in the world do you need in terms of extra hands, money, maybe it's ideas. So there's like three specific areas right there that you could think about ways of working together. Like what what do you need? You're only limited by your imagination. It's an opportunity to think out the box out of the box. Really PTOs are a gold mine for these things. Not all not necessarily just for the financial support, but there are so many other ways that PTOs can help support and collaborate with your school and vice versa. There are so many ways that the school can help support the PTO. You guys can meet your goals together. And overall, the end result is going to be increased family engagement and an improved school community. Win-win for everyone. So I hope this video has been so helpful and that you will join me for the next one.